Hey guys, AJ from Hollywood Rentals. We're here with Trisha Moss. And for those of you who don't know this girl, she knows pretty much everything there is to know about LED technology. And uh, <laughs> well, I beg to differ, All my right. friend. Thank you, you got it. <laughs> And in particular, uh, remote phosphor. And for people who don't know, what is remote phosphor? Remote Phosphor, it is an LED driven technology, but it's kind of like we took apart the way that we see most LEDs that are in kind of that one by one frame, dissected them and put them back together with a little bit more superpowers. So as you can see, I'm removing a plate here on the front of it. Uh, this plate is a phosphor embedded piece of plastic. So phosphors, they glow, they fluoresce. Um, this is where our white light quality is going to come from. In essence, this becomes the source of my light. Not a filter, not a diffuser, not a gel, it's the source. We do still have LEDs back here though. Uh, the LEDs in this situation are just gonna be the energy, the thing that's gonna drive these phosphors to glow. So I'm gonna turn it on for us really quickly. I'm gonna turn it back away from the camera. And you can see it's actually blue in color. So this blue light, that energy, when mixed with these phosphors, is what causes the white light. This is what happens in a traditional LED, but it tends to happen more on that semiconductor level, where we've, as I said, taken apart, taken it apart like we took apart a, a toaster oven and made a microwave, essentially. Just made it more powerful. When this panel glows, it's soft, it's wrapping, it's really natural feeling. It's also a little bit more pleasant to look at, too, for talent. Um, small little advantage, but more than anything, it's just the feel of the light it feels real. I've got the match, uh, Matchbox in my hand, so I'll start there. This is a brand new product. We're releasing it here at NAB. We are taking the technology that we've introduced on the HS fixture, the things we're using on major motion pictures, international broadcast studios. We've packaged it and we've designed it in a way that it's accessible for people like myself, honestly, where I can actually buy it. Um, it's got a quarter 20 on the bottom of it. The input for it, I'm using an AC coax right now but this will take six to 26 volt DC. That means you could use your Canon, um, like your Mark II battery for it. You could use your Sony battery for it. You could put it onto a D-tap, and so you can just really run and gun with this. It's double anodized, hard as nails. It does ship with 56 and 32 color temperatures. So you got daylight, you got tungsten versatility with it. Onboard dimmer, it's, um, it's really a workhorse. It's a way to get into remote phosphor lighting without having to, you know, shell out that $4,000 price point that the HS light carries. Gotcha, and what about the matchsticks? The matchsticks is very similar to the matchbox, but in stick form. So these are long linear pieces, it's the same idea. You've got your phosphor embedded surface. It's interchangeable. We do ship these with 32, 43, and 56 phosphors. The back side of it has a cold shoe. Uh, it's a really nice little rigging rail. So they're just handy little tools that are um, just really gaffer friendly. Well, it looks fantastic Thank and uh, love the remote phosphor technology. You guys have really it. taken it a long way. So. Yeah, yeah, we've had a really fun couple of years and uh, <laughs> we'll have quite a few more, I'm sure. All right. That's awesome. Cineo Lighting. Yeah.